okay uh, in this video we will discuss uh, how to show the uh, task by using the task list and the task item okay mm, i will uh, first go to the angular project and what i will do uh, i will go for the task list dot ts and i will mm, create here a array for the task task mm, array colon task array okay task of type uh, i will create the variable task of type task array and i will import the task here task from task is our model dot dot slash dot dot slash the outside task okay is equal to blank array and what i want to do is i want to create a method get all task to take uh, all the task form from our laravel project and what i will do here i will uh, import uh, so what uh, I will first do is uh, I will go for the service and I will create the gate task of our service and what I want to do is um, I want to uh, get all the records from the Laravel project which are present in the database so I will use this dot http dot for getting the data the method is gate and the type is task array and what I want, we want to pass because the, the method is gate we want to only pass the server name and plus what is the route I will do here route is route as gate ok and here also uh, we want to take the observable of type task array and we want to return this to our component ok this way uh, what we want to do is uh, we want to call this method from the task list component and the task uh, task service will return the array to the uh, task component ok and uh, ok uh, so what I want to do is I want to call the get task method of task service so I will import here our task service task service from task service slash services slash task service and what I want to do is I want to do here a dependency injection task service the type data service and what I want to do is I want to call this dot task service dot get task ok and I want to subscribe this method and what uh, I want to get is I will get here data of all task as we, we are returning all tasks to the uh, method and what I will do is I will assign uh, all the tasks to our task array task is equal to all ok and what we want to do uh, whenever we are um, login uh, whenever we are going to login uh, in the task manager we want to show all the tasks here that's why we want to call this method get all task task in ng init this dot get all task ok and what i will do is i will console here the task in this dot task to check the output ok
I'll go for the console mm, there is an error okay uh, we haven't done it the backend part the we have called the uh, router router of the laravel project as gate okay i will go for the mm, laravel project and i will create here the route method gate we didn't need to add we don't need to add the uh, this gate method to our exception or middleware verify because uh, this is get method and I will call the task controller at the rate get method what I want to do is I want to call the I want to declare the uh, get method in the task controller get uh, function get method and what I want to do is uh, return um, I will first fetch the records is equal to um, task double colon all it will fetch the all record and while returning return um, dollar response um, which is in the form of which is in the form of json because the angular requires the data in the form of json we are uh, converting the response into the json and we are returning the records okay, okay. we will check the output there is an error Undefined response variable. Okay, uh, here the response is not a variable. Here the response is the array. Okay, we want to return the response in the form of JSON. I'll check the output. Yeah, it's showing the data mm, all the IDs 0 1 2 3 4 so we have got the data here in the task list <coughs> and now what we want to do is uh, I will go for the task list HTML and I will use here a uh, ul and the li tag and I will use class the form no, list group to group the items and uh, for li I will use the list group item okay and what I want to do is I will use here the ng for for iterating this task list okay ng4 is equal to let in the task of task and I will put here anything and I will check for the output yeah it's showing means the iteration is working so now what we want to do is uh, we want to call the task item from here in the li tag uh, the name of the app task item is app task item okay. let's check it's working or not yeah it's working task item works and now what I want to uh, do is 
I want to pass this task to the task list uh, list item task item okay so the task is equal to task okay I am passing the uh, task variable as task to the task item okay then what I will do is I will go for the task item TS and uh, because the task list is a uh, our uh, parent component and the task item is the child component of the task list therefore for getting the data from the uh, parent component I will use here the input directive is wrong here okay I want to import the import the input directive which is in the angular core and input task of uh, of the type task okay and in the engine it what I will do is I will console here console dot log mm, task dot id I will put here I will console the id for checking it's working or not okay yeah we got here the ids means the data is present here sorry uh, in the task variable and then now what I want to do is um, I want to show here the task data so uh, our data is in task variable though so I will go for the task dot html and what I will do here is I will show here the task dot title and the button I will use here the class float right and I will give here name delete and button danger and another button or float right button button dark for showing the details mm. okay details and the delete okay uh, what i will do is i want the space in in between two buttons delete and the um, detail task I will give the margin left to the detail margin left three to the detail um, it's not working give margin left to the delete button yeah it's working and now what I want to do is I want to give the margin here mm, margin top so I will go for task list and I will give here the margin top as 4 that's fine okay in the next video we will uh, go for the delete and detail task okay uh, so now uh, what is remaining is uh, in the task form where is the task form I will open the task form uh, 
uh, what I want to do is uh, I want to take here a logout button so I will use view and the button class btn btn um, lock and the lock out and I will use here the float right and margin bottom 3 ok here is the logout button and what I want to do is I want to give here a, a router link Will do login. Mm, it's not working. Uh, oh, I want to use here the anchor tag. Mm, what is the problem? router link slash button okay, we want to use here the slash it's working 11 11 login and then logout ok it's working in the next video we will go for the detail of the uh, delete of the task ok